Hello guys, it's Hunter Knight. Today we're going to review the brand new Batman vs Superman Nightmare Batman from Mattel. This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Shop a great selection of action figures and more at BigBadToyStore.com Thank you for watching. I just came from the premiere of, of the Batman vs Superman movie. Oh my god, I gotta tell you, uh, go see it. Go see it and make your own opinion. Don't listen to the critics. I mean, you have to make your own opinion. I found this guy at Target and I was lucky. I was lucky, I gotta say. Now let's take a look at the package. Uh, the package has a familiar DC Comics Multiverse logo. You can see the Dark Knight on the front with three batarangs. That's great. That's a great picture of uh, Ben Affleck as Batman. Look at that. He's all nice, dirty and miserable. Batman vs Superman, na aptly named Nightmare Batman, you gotta see the movie to find out why. Uh, here the same picture, I've been collecting this, like, as if it were like tops cards or anything. Now a funny detail to point out is that uh, he has, he's holding a gun, and the gun has a wrapping with a Joker card on it. Very very funny and very intriguing, why does he have that? Same uh, bio as the other ones, grab no blaster, blah blah blah, and you can see here the new figures. This one is a mystery still. So but this is a uh, Kurt Cobain, I mean Lex Luthor, Nightmare Batman, and Aquaman Momoa. Nothing here, just a Batman Superman logo. Uh, that's it. Uh, let's open this guy and find out what the fuss is all about. I'm afraid. And here we have Batman out of the package. Very good figure. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not great, but it's a good figure. So let's take a look at it. As you can see, the head is brand new. This is not the same head they use on this guy, as you can see, because this guy has textures, which make it look weird as hell. But this one, no, look, it's shiny and smooth. This one's actually what resembles more what the Horseman sculpted, which I, I saw the prototype at San Diego Comic Con. It was beautiful, pretty much like this. As you can see also, the, the eyes are much better than this guy. Look at that, look at those eyes, look at those eyes. Oh my god, horrible. But this one fixes it, and um, we could uh, probably swap these heads and see if they fit on, on, on this one, so you can probably fix your Batman. Yeah, as you can see, it fits great on the other Batman. It's a much better side than this thing. Oh lord. Uh, how do I remove it? Uh, 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 hair dryer, guys. Hair dryer. Two minutes on each, on each head, swap them, bout your ankle. That's it. Now if you put the regular one on, on the Nightmare Batman, it doesn't really fit because it leaves, a, it leaves this gap here. And it's because the pegs are different, the pegs have a different height. So yeah, this one doesn't fit too well in it. The scope on the chest uh, seems to be the same as the first Batman. Yeah, look at that. The belt. It seems to model after the, the first one, but it's in a brand new piece because it's, uh, it has this strap that's connected to it. It's a very military style, you know, strap. It does uh, have the same crappy ab movement and is hindered by the cape, actually. He actually turns, it's kind of hard, but yeah, it turns at the, at the, at the waist. Uh, he has this, uh, yeah, the shoulders have a pretty good range of motion, but here is where the crap begins. Uh, it suffers from Hasbroides, what I call Hasbroides, and what is that? He cannot bend the elbow completely in 90 degrees, so he cannot really hold any weapons in a normal way. And he has a wrist cut. But yeah, and this, yeah, swivels is funny, it's good, but it, uh, it's hindered. And this, actually, this arm is even worse. This is as far as it goes. This is the worst arm, and this is actually where. You can see he has a trigger finger, so he's supposed to hold a weapon. He's not gonna be able to hold it like a normal person. But I look like an idiot. He has some some straps which uh, are painted, but they have no extra, you know, washes or anything. And it also rotates and has a wrist cut. But yeah, that that's crappy about the arms. Now the coat has this uh, nice detail. It's just flat brown plastic, and it has all the uh, this is a uh, this is actually an airbrush airbrush detail on the back. Probably sweat you. Wrinkles here, uh, wrinkles there, torn in the bottom with no detail, and it's removable. You can actually take it out of the figure as a coatless Batman. It's a new variant. Let me just take it out. <laughs> yeah, this is like a brand new piece they molded. It's uh, made of rubber. 
kind of like a soft PVC plastic. Now uh, the the pants are military style, as you can see. It has a signature metal articulation. It doesn't really extend the legs that much in an angle, so you will not be able to sit him on a, on, a, on a car or anything. It just looks like that, way. and the coat is gonna restrain everything. Work, gonna make everything actually worse for him to sit. You can see his butt, butt, and yeah, these straps here. And actually, has a they hide a cut pretty well on both legs. And yeah, this is the design they made here. The same boots as the first uh, Batman design. And uh, no, no, no detail, no paint on the. It's supposed to be like brass guards in here. No, it doesn't have. It, it, they are there in the sculpt, but they're not painted. Yeah, not painted. As accessories go, Batman comes with three batarangs. These batarangs were actually uh, available at the San Diego Comic Con, you know, set. The only difference is that they were painted on the San Diego one. These ones are made of just uh, soft plastic, and they don't have any details. No details. No, I mean, they're there, but they're, they're not painted, and it's say China. Now, even though it's a trigger finger, the batarang fits uh, kind of nicely there if you just wiggle your way in. Yeah. Kinda of cool. Well, what can you do with the other ones? Uh, you can probably give it to your other crappy Batman. Yeah, there we go. Or probably to the armor one, even though he doesn't really need it. But yeah, he also comes with his bat goggles. Yeah, you can uh, put them here on the figure, like that. Yeah, if you don't want, you can swivel them up like that. And even better, you can even do this. look more uh, Mad Max type of uh, Batman. He also comes with a lower barrel for the build a grapple thing. It's supposed to go here. It's like even a small indentation where it rests. But there's nothing to hold it except for this part. Uh, we have to wait until I find uh, Momoa, Aquaman or uh, Kurt Cobain Luthor. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Bear Batman is a, it's a fun figure, it's not a must, he has some problems, the, the elbows are disastrous, they're, they're horrible, he's a bit taller than the regular Batman should be, like, look at that, he's a bit taller, and the, the elbows, I mean, the elbows are the worst part, you cannot even surrender properly, look at that, oh my god, it's breaking my heart, but if you want to complete the Grapnel Blaster, yeah, you should get it. And, but I really like the figure. It's it's very. I mean, it's a fun figure to have. It's a fun variant. There are not many companies making uh, that particular bat, except for Funko Pop. You know, that's a whole different style. Uh, but yeah, I will highly recommend to get it. It's a very better, 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 much better sculpt. You know, face sculpt than the one on the the on the first one. Much better, and it can be swappable. You can swap the heads. So yeah, I highly uh, recommend it for those fans. It might need some more detail more washes more more you know more shading it's a good enough figure let's let's leave it at that it's a good enough figure all right uh, if you think you want this figure i compiled some links on the description so go check them out thank you for watching my video guys this is hunter knight signing out wasn't that fun subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also don't forget to visit the toy pop culture feed for the latest toy news thank you impressive, impressive.